thank you very much for uh, for joining in this special little webinar that we have uh, with Vinay Permanent. He is uh, he's been a friend, uh, a LinkedIn friend, and we did few things together in 2019. He he still remembers that. I didn't even remember it was 2019. Um, then we had COVID and everything. But Vinay is is a coach. He is a business coach and a mentor based in Canada. He works at Toronto Business Development Center, and he helps businesses grow. Uh, his his passion and focus is startups, freelancers, and individuals like me, solopreneurs, who could come and take advice from from him about uh, about business development, how they can scale, and you know as much as how they can even start if they have an idea. Uh, so um, uh, this is a, such a pleasure to have him uh, in today's session. Uh, Vinay, thank you. Good morning from uh, a little bit better Toronto. We have, we have we are having some fun weather uh, for the past three days. Uh, share something about, you know, how did you, how did you start? When did you come to Canada? And how did you do whatever you're doing at this point over the time. Yeah. Thanks so much, Saman, for the kind introduction. Really appreciate it. Uh, and likewise, uh, huge respect for what you do. Huge respect for what you have achieved so far. So thank you for doing that. Uh, my story, I think my interest in entrepreneurship started very, very early in my life. Because growing up, I used to be always surrounded by business people. You know, I, I come from India. Uh, so always had this business mindset. I remember I used to sit on the cash counter and understand how, how business is done, how people do businesses. And always in that mindset, grew up, uh, you know, education, got a job, I worked at a bank. Uh, but I, I I quickly realized my skills lie somewhere else. I'm not just an ops guy. I'm also a BD. I'm, I'm able to coach. I'm able to talk. I'm able to articulate things better. So um, then I had the opportunity, uh, I volunteered or whatever you could say, to become the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the director of a rural accelerator you know this is back in 2009 i'm talking um uh, uh, and i was the youngest one probably in india at that time uh, which is uh, the, the accelerator was supported by the by the government and also by the bank so basically you know we used to help youth uh, unemployed people and even women to become you know entrepreneurs just like yourself solo entrepreneurs partners whatever they want you know basically get to do something they love to do the most. So that bug caught me. Uh, it kept me hooked on for almost three years. I had a wonderful time. Uh, I had the opportunity to roam all around India, speak to amazing people, develop great relationships, and really understand, you know, entrepreneurs from close by. What we, what we, what I've realized is it doesn't matter whether uh, what education you have, what you're doing. Uh, what matters is, you know, the passion. And the understanding you have, right? Uh, so I did that. Um, I decided, you know what? I know enough of the social world because I've been very much in the community, social sector, if you would, uh, microfinance, empowerment, you know, whatever that is. And I said, you know what? Let me just go outside and understand how the corporate world functions. Because I always to see. I used to go to Bangalore, and it just amazed me how people and things work. So I said, you know what, let me let me take a leap of faith. So I resigned from my government job, really comfortable government job. And I said, let's go to Canada. So I came here in 2014 as an immigrant, as an international student. Uh, I did my MBA in Montreal. Uh, but then this bug never left me. So I was always, since day one, uh, I was always like, okay, how can I help people? Because I have been... I should say fortunate enough, I have been raised in that way that I did everything on my own. I love doing that on my own just to understand how things are. So I know the life as a newcomer. I remember I used to write, you know, help people apply for their visas, you know, get here. So I used to uh, be a newcomer mentor. I'm still doing that for eight years now. Um, and then I used to also consult with businesses. So I, I used to work as consultant for nonprofits. I used to, um, you know, part of my MBA was also consulting for startups or even businesses for that matter. So I did that for quite a while and I volunteered, you know, I really stuck into it. And 2014, 2015 was the time where the startup culture was just picking up, you know, like Montreal, it was just picking up. So did a lot of volunteering, spoke up with a lot of people and, you know, it opened my eyes, you know, the opportunity is amazing. 
And to be honest, truth be told, uh, Haman, at that point I realized, you know, entrepreneurs and job, job seekers, you know, it's kind of a similar ball game. It's just a different way of looking at it. It's not the filter you have. Anyway, uh, long story short, did that for a while. I always wanted to work for a startup. I worked for a small, like good, a good sized company. Really was in the hustle of how startups and small organizations work. Uh, but still used to volunteer with uh, my time with startups and entrepreneurs. Did that for almost, I guess now, four and a half, five years now in an official capacity. And right now where you see me is uh, I'm the director of programs at the Toronto Business Development Center. Um, you know, basically we help entrepreneurs launch, grow and scale their businesses in Canada. So, uh, you know, this has been a very eventful journey for me and I love every bit of it. Uh, to your point, Hamad, uh, people, no matter whether they are job seekers or entrepreneurs, I think there is a lot of learning. Next question to me is, you have a product, you know the product or a service, you're a freelancer or an entrepreneur, you're looking at customers. Um, how would you find these customers? Question. I would say you know who your customers are if you've already done your homework. You don't need to run after them. Once you're able to talk, once you're able to make it clear in your head that this is the product or offering I have, and these are the people who will benefit from it, if you know the need or the, or the, or the, or the pain point, you would naturally gravitate towards them. You know, you will start seeing those people around you. And once you have that conversation, it immediately hit off, right? But I would say, look around you. This is like going back to the thing. Start with what you know. You know your friends, you know your family. Start with them. Then start with people, you know, again on the range. I know them very well. I don't know them at all. Great. Both are nice because they will both give you honest feedbacks. They will tell you because they are concerned. They will tell you because they don't care about you. Both are good for you, right? So start with both and say, how does it, how does it work? But don't stop at that. Keep working on it. Keep evolving. You know, that lean, agile methodology, keep doing it. Keep reiterating, right? So then you will find customers. And sometimes what happens is, what you realize is when you start talking to people, and I have seen this happen, they go with a very specific mindset. They say either go to this um, sector or this particular kind of business. But what I say is, you need to take a look. What is your core product after all? Who is going to use it? What pain problem am, am I solving? Right? Am I, am I a tech that is solving security problems? Then anyone who needs security will use it. It need not be just be a financial company. It can be any company that does data, that does people, that has any information. Right? So once you understand your core product, you, you really go to everyone and say, how can you use this? If I have to offer it to you, right? Now, again, I would say social media is one thing. You know, LinkedIn, B2B sales, you have the, the whole, the whole, the shebang, you know, like online, you can find it. But I would say, find those specific people on LinkedIn. You know them. You just need to go and talk to them and say, this is what I have. What do you think? Exactly. So customers will come to you. Yeah. yeah. So keep building your, your trust and credibility. Uh, keep talking about it, what you know, and you know, you should be in a helping mode. So, you know, you yes. should not be in a selling mode. Uh, as, yeah. as we discussed Give earlier, before you take. Yeah. Money will come. You know, if you can help yes. people learn something, they will eventually buy from you because, you know, they need it. At that point yes. in time, they may not be convinced, but if you show your excellence, if you show your authority, eventually they will. So we need thank you. We need thank you very much for your time. This is uh, this is amazing insights to um, to kind of you know I would say for anyone who is either confused or not really sure where to start the business or if you know someone is struggling in uh, in setting the direction, you have provided some some interesting insights that that people could simply follow and and build your business. 